Hello all. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you have seen over here, we have started with the modeling of this uh, locomotive engine over here. So let's start continue its modeling part. So let's go with some details now over here. So very first of all, I will go over here and let's go into modeling and let's take one swift look over here let's put one swift look over here and one swift look over here so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll just go into this edge ring it Control and click on this polygons over here and let's give a bit of uh, extrude by local normal and just reduce it and click OK that's it so again we'll be managing it over here for that let's use one more uh, swift loop over here so again press 2 over here ring control and click on this polygons and again click on this extrude over here so select this edge just push it a bit behind over here again go into this ring and control and click on the polygons and again click give extrude over here a bit that's it so once you are done with this now what I will be doing over here is like I want to generate this stuff over here so first before that what we will be doing here is like I will be putting one more loop over here put one more loop over here let's take a spear over here auto grid let's go into this front view so push the spear a bit out over here so convert to editable poly so press 4 over here select this half polygons delete it select the border right click and cap it so once you are done with this so now what I can do over here is like I can just rotate it so I want to rotate it in 90 degree so let's set this as 90 degree over here scale it push it down alright so what I can do over here is like I can shift this over here go into hierarchy effect pivot only and just push it over here at the center of this so effect pivot only so you can just push it till here and now I'll just set this as a 45 degree and just activate this so 45 degree is too much we will keep it to 30 or we can keep it to 20 degrees and just go on duplicating we will keep it as 10 over here so
So we need the copies over here in this way. That's it. So we are just generating this details accordingly. So just keep on saving the files over here. So again I will just select this whole part over here. Whole part excluding only the spear part excluding this and we can just make a copy of it over here and just click OK. That's it. So once you are done with this, so you can just make a copy of it over here. Now what we will be doing over here is like let's create few of the details over here. So first let's create this. For this creation what we will be doing is like let's go into the side view over here and let's take a line over here. So of this auto grid let's take a line over here. So I will go into this, select the vertices and you have a fillet option over here. So let's select a fillet over here. Select this and you can just delete it over here. And let's give a bit of extrude modifier over here and let's give a bit of extrude and let's just push it in here. So what I am doing over here is I am just pushing this over here. So we need to make sure that it is at the right center and just duplicate this. That's it. So once you are done, so you can just zoom it. Just push it up and down. That's okay. Take a cylinder over here, right from this view. So take a cylinder. So push a cylinder over here and increase its height over here. So you can just push it till here. So go into the vertices and you can just push it inside. Okay. So select this again, convert to editable poly. Before we convert it into editable poly, I don't need the height segments, I'll remove the height segments. Convert to poly, select this and use a bit of inset select this use a bit of inset over here select this and use a bit of bevel over here so i'm going to use a bit of bevel over here now click ok so you can just keep on saving the files i'll just push it So just uh, keep on saving the files. Now what I can do over here is like I can uh, scale a bit if you want. You can just scale a bit. If it is required you can easily scale this stuff. So we have a small kind of a lights over here so we are going to create that also so let's select this set a auto grid over here so just push it a bit out over here so 
so let's convert to editable poly press 4 insert and use a bit of the push it up all right so you can just select this much of the part of the polygons and you can just extrude it so extrude it a bit less all right so you can keep it in this way that's it okay so you can just change again the color of it so there are many many minor details so definitely it will take more time over here so now what i want to work over here is like so so the next part what we can do create over here is like first we'll just finish it off all the top details then we'll move move down so let's go over here let's take a go into this front view Let's take a box over here. Let's take a box over here. Scale this. And after scaling this over here, what I'm going to do is AI. Yeah, so convert to editable poly over here. I'll scale up it and I will use a bit of swift loop over here so again use a swift loop over here and here so select this polygons use a bit of inset not much but a bit and just extrude it so you can just extrude this out a bit so go into the vertices, uh, just push it up, all right. So over here, how we are going to manage is like, let's use a tube over here. Let's go into the tube option over here. So let's take a tube over here. So take a tube. So just push a cube over here so in this tube uh, I'm just going to increase the height over here and the height segments I'm going to make it as 0 so I'll just push this till here in this way better so select this and just scale it down so go to this view over here and to the top over here till here and let's rotate it so we'll just rotate this in this way so let's just place it over here So if you want you can you can just scale it a bit. And just give a color. Okay, so just select this and this over here and press shift and drag over here. again shift and drag over here and make one more copy of it that's it okay. so so you can just uh, make this stuff in this way so now what I'm going to do over here is like I'll go into the side view now 
I will go into this side view and let's take a line tool over here for now. Alright, so let's push this uh, line over here, push this line over here. So I will go into this and I activate this line option, enable in viewport and I will reduce its thickness. Select this vertices over here and I will just push it. That's it. So zoom in. Let's go into this and make sure you are adjusting it uh, right at the perfect center. Okay. So make sure it is just. Uh, intersecting this clamp all right perfect so once you make sure it's intersecting you can just go into this select this and let's give a bit of uh, fillet to it so we are going to add some fillet over here a bit of a bit of fillet over here and I'm just going to push it in this way a bit down so right click over here and add one refine over here and you can just push it that's it so if you look at it closely so you see that it is it is coinciding this total so let's save your file again keep on saving the files So we will continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.